Welcome to part three of our series of videos on creating a C Sharp Blazor application using Sync Fusion controls and Dapper. In this uh, video, we're going to look at the Dapper element of this and linking the application to the SQL database. As I've mentioned earlier, Alan Simpson has a great series of videos on how to use Dapper with Blazor. Better still, he's created a small application that will do most of the hard work uh, for us for creating the stored procedures and the C-sharp code for the CRUD operations. And we're going to be taking full advantage of Alan Simpson's code generator. The code generator will do two things. Uh, it will create SQL stored procedures, um, basically a separate procedure for each table for each CRUD operation. And it will also produce some C sharp code uh, for our Visual Studio application, uh, basically one class for each model, a separate cl class for each service for each model, and a separate interface for each service for each model. Um, we'll now uh, look at uh, downloading Alan Simpson's application. The address is shown at the bottom of this slide, uh, but I'll also include it in the description. To obtain Alan Simpson's code generator, open a web browser and go to his GitHub page. And once that's opened, go to his Blazor Dapper code generator, click on that, and you'll see the code button here. Click on that and then choose download zip. I'm just going to save mine to the desktop. And when that's downloaded, I'll close the browser and we'll see it on the desktop here. Right click to that and select extract all. And when it's, when it's extracted, open the folder and find blazer dapper code gen SLN, the solution, right click and open. That will open up in Visual Studio. And when it has opened, I'll give it a chance to finish, uh, run it. This will also open up in a web browser. And what we need to do here is enter our name, the namespace, i.e. the name of our particular project, which is Blazor countries and we need to put in here paste in here the SQL create table code that we use to create the tables in our application the easiest way to do that is to go to uh, Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio I've already got it open and select countries and select the tables now we'll have to do this separately for each table so I'll do countries first, so right click, script table as, create table to new query editor window, and we'll get the create table code here. That's the bit we need, so copy that. I'll close that. Go back to the application here, control V, and click go. Alan's program does its stuff and generates the code here. There's a, a lot of code, probably there's, there's more here than we actually need. Um, but the easiest way to deal with this is to copy it uh, to Notepad or Notepad++. Plus. 
as you can see, there's something like over a thousand lines of code here. So Alan has done us a, a great service. Right, I'll go on to that for the next one. Now, you actually have to close the application here and run it again uh, for each table. So go back to SQL, select the cities table, right click, script table as, create to new query editor. Select the create table code. Close. Go back to the browser, paste it in here and click go again. It creates the code, which we'll copy to Notepad. And I think we can now close browser and Visual Studio. We don't need that any longer. So let's this is this is notepad. Now what what we've got the code that the code generator has, has produced uh, a lot of these things we've already done already um, but the bit we're interested in is this section down here that creates stored procedures. It'll create a stored procedure for insert, select, select one. It's got a, a, a search one that we don't want. So I'm going to delete that. And for range, we don't need that one either. So I'm going to delete that. Update and delete. So these are the store procedures we want. But I'm just going to change one other thing. Instead of list, I'm going to call it get, get all. And I'm also going to get rid of this top 30 because we want it to get all the all the countries. So that looks all right. So th this will create the stored procedures. Now to make life a little bit, uh, I'll make these changes in in SQL. So we copy copy all these. Copy all the uh, code for the SQL school procedures. Copy that. Go back into uh, SQL Management Studio and select New Query and paste paste it in here. Now, just we can run each of these individually, but it'd be a lot easier. If we put go statements after after each stored procedure, we'll then be able to run it as a single script. check this looks all right that looks fine we'll just check the syntax that's fine and now we'll click execute 
and that's created all the stored procedures for inserting, updating, deleting and reading uh, the countries table. So I'm going to close that. I don't, you don't need to save that query. I'll go back to Notepad and I'll get the equivalent ones for the city. So we've got insert list, which I'm going to change to get all. I'm going to get rid of the top 30 part of that because we want all of them. We won't get one. We're not interested in the one for like or the data range. So we'll delete that. But we do want update and delete. So we'll copy that. Go back to SQL Management Studio, click New Query, paste it in here, and then put Go Statements. Now we need to add Go Statements uh, after all these procedures. Just make sure there's a go after every end. Check and run. We don't need to save that. And now if you look under programmability, under stored procedures, we'll see we've got Stored procedures for cities, uh, delete, get all, get one, insert and update, and the same for countries. So that finishes the uh, SQL end of things for the moment. So I'll just close SQL Management Studio. The next stage is to add the code to the C, C Sharp project. Um, so the next thing to do is to start Visual Studio. And open our Blazor Countries solution. Right in data we need to create a new uh, class called countries CS uh, and to copy and paste the code from the code generator. So I'll right click, add class, I'll call it countries. And the code we'll get back from here. So this is the countries CS. I'm just going to replace all the code in here. So that looks fine. We also want to create a, uh, a, a class called service, uh, sorry, country service. So again, I will select 
right click add class and it's called countries service and I'll go back to the code here and I'll copy and paste everything from here. But I will make a couple of small changes. Um, I'm going to change the, I don't want that to say list, I want that to say get all. I don't need search. or range. So we've got delete, update, get one, that we want to be get, get all. Insert. So that looks right. And the last one for countries is the, the interface class. So uh, we want one called right click, add class, and we're gonna call it I countries service. Go back to notepad and that's the code we want. But I'm going to change that to from countries list to, con to countries get all. I don't want the search or date range. Get one to get, and that looks that looks right. So we'll save everything. That looks okay. That looks okay. So now we want to repeat the same for cities. So right click add class cities go back to the code that's the data model Then we want one for service. And 
and we'll make the same changes in here as we did uh, for countries, but I'll copy it all into Visual Studio to start with. So we've got insert. List we'll call get all. Search we don't want. And we aren't, aren't interested in that other one. So get one, get one, update, and delete. So that looks OK. And lastly, the I cities service. Insert list, so you want that to be get all. We don't need those two. Yes, the other thing I'm going to do is delete these spaces in the get all and get one. And I'll do that as well in the service. Otherwise, I'm going to have some inconsistencies here. Just check this. Countries one as well. That's fine. And lastly, I think we need to just change startup. So we add the scoped uh, service, the scoped uh, services. So let's go back to here. So let's do with. Uh, countries first. And then the cities. That should be everything in place. I'll save everything. 
and build it. That's good. Um, we may as well just do a bit of uh, housekeeping. Um, we've got these weather forecast items here, which we don't need, so we may as well delete them. And we've also got two razor pages or, or blazer pages, which we don't need. We don't need the fetch data. And we don't need the counter. Um, we'll change the uh, uh, the menu items so they don't cause a problem a little bit later. Uh, and of course, having done that, I'll need to remove that. Right, so just build it, check everything's okay. Fine. So we'll call a halt here, um, and the next stage is actually to produce a, uh, a, a blazer page. Um, we've spent quite a long time laying the foundations, getting the plumbing, get everything wired up. Um, and the next stage is going to be a, a little bit more creative where we actually start seeing some results. See you next time.